Are you wanting to put Let's Go Brandon on your balls? Stay <laughs> tuned. What are you talking about? I'm a golfer. I've got golf hey, balls. Hey, that's been outlawed. <laughs> I, I take care of them, you know. I wash them, I clean them, I keep them in my bag. I take care of them. You got to have good golf balls. But guess what? Let's What's go, that? Brandon. I ordered a, a, a dozen of Let's Go Brandon golf balls, and they told me that they weren't allowed to imprint that on them anymore. <laughs> Unbelievable! Wow. Really? What they put on there? They wouldn't do anything. Really? You I wouldn't... was so angry. I didn't order the balls. You you wouldn't believe the, crazy. the the statements I have on my golf balls that they've let me order before, and they won't let you. They wouldn't <laughs> let you do this. There are probably in the U.S. because uh, with my marketing background, but there's probably at least twenty five thousand companies in the United States that you can get cups. They imprint cups for you. They'll do you a T-shirt. They'll put whatever you want on your golf balls. We used to buy for corporations. We'd have the logo put on there and give them to the clients when they came out to the course. You can get your name on there, and, yes, you can even get four-letter words put on golf balls because wow. they don't stamp them with anything. But for whatever reasons, uh, somebody's gotten to somebody, and you're not putting Let's Go Brandon on a golf ball anymore. So and they were hot. They were flying off the shelves, man. Shut down now, huh? Yeah. We got some video here telling us about it. Wow. So. As Titleist blocks customers from personalizing golf balls with the phrase, let's go, Brandon. Again, you know, this should even be surprising at this point, guys, because like I said, when this whole let's go, Brandon thing first happened, right, I was here when F. Biden, right, became a thing, okay? I was like, oh, this is going to be a thing, right, F. Biden. And then I was there when it involved to let's go, Brandon. And again, I thought it was hilarious because I was like, the left, they're going to lose their mind over this phrase. And the reason why they're going to lose their mind is because everybody knows. Titleist must be some kind of Democrat-backed company, and they're just not having it. The Democrat are like, they go woke, you know, try to be woke like all the companies. Yeah, they don't want to get canceled. <laughs> I find it hilarious. <laughs> I think it's funny how meta we are. We're like commenting on a video that somebody else is commenting on. <laughs> I think it's awesome. Like, and maybe we can go back and comment on one of our videos one day where we're commenting on something. What it means, <laughs> but it's not you actually know. vulgar when you say it, right? On, on his face. Okay. And again, they're, they're going to go crazy, right? So since then, right, when the left actually caught on uh, outlets like CNN and MSDNC, we've seen them basically say that Let's Go Brandon is a threat on Joe Biden's life. We have some new NBC News exclusive reporting on a dangerous way gun dealers are marketing their weapons, including violent threats against President Biden. One South Carolina gun dealer going as far as changing the inscription on the safety lever of its AR-15 rifle. Meanwhile, two other gun manufacturers are advertising AR-15 magazines with Let's Go Brandon stickers. That's a code phrase for a swear Oh insult my God! The okay, let's oh go, Brandon. My God. Let's go, Brandon. Also, apparently, uh, is like ISIS, right? According to some <laughs> oh, people. Wow. Oh, CNN. Okay, th those are the type of things that we've seen uh, CNN and the left wing media say about "Let's go, Brandon" in an attempt to actually ban the phrase, right? Now you're seeing corporate America get in on the action as well, too, trying to essentially censor this because. They don't like people talking about their daddy, Joe Biden, right? That, that, that's what's <laughs> happening. Well, you know, one thing to keep in mind, I mean, I've, I've played golf most of my life, and it is the one sport that probably has the highest standards of conduct in riding. I mean, just you, you don't talk or even whisper when someone's getting ready to shoot you don't move you don't do yeah. this you, you don't, don't walk do through that. somebody's line no i mean it's a purely a gentleman's game and and the that the, the, you're held to such a high standard you don't touch a ball i mean if if your ball's laying in the grass and you move a little twig and it moves just a micro inch you're supposed to call yourself out and say hey did it stroke so with Titleist in the position they're in of being the number one ball in golf, they don't need the BS that that would bring on because of, there's a lot of liberal golfers, there's a lot of liberal networks, and they're going to say, well, guess what? 
today, four players are playing with the Titleist golf ball, blankety blank. People would be hollering at them from the crowd probably. They don't need that. Right. They really don't. I think that's probably the big, big thing. But Makes sense. It's not really worth the risk for them. Yeah, but the thing that does confuse me, though, is that you can order golf balls and have them in your possession and send them to an imprint company mm -hmm. that has nothing to do with Titleist. Right. Now, whether or not Titleist could turn around and sue them, I don't know. I doubt it, but... Hell, they'll probably report you to the FBI for that. <laughs> you the find a small enough company, though, they'll definitely do it for you. So they, here, they need the money. So God, Here's I, what's bothering me the most, though. Like, What if you had a charity golf tournament for some guy named Brandon that like was paraplegic after, after a car accident? And you wanted to have like the Let's Go Brandon golf tournament, and now you can't have Let's Go Brandon Not balls. Like, it's, um, it's disappointing to me. <laughs> yeah, we got another video here. Brandon, you also told me, as you can is hear the chance one? from the, the crowd. Yeah, so this is some Let's Go Brandon uh, wrapping Let's paper. Let's Go Brandon. Brandon told oh, me I you love it. Kind of <laughs> the wrapping paper. American <laughs> screaming, let's go. Say it with a passion. It's just taking over. It's everywhere. As I pull off in the <laughs> sun. Uh, Don't nobody animal. like his son. Cover up and tell the people go, Brandon. Well, it oh, seems the, the Let's Go Brandon, go Brandon, Brandon chant is continuing over Christmas. Conservative brand Bring Ammo has capitalized on the trend by releasing Let's Go Brandon wrapping paper. The patriotic brand launched the new gear a few weeks ago and told its fans the near 132,000 oh, square foot paper that. was enough to cover three football fields or three acres. Those who have bought the popular wrapping paper have sent in photos of their Christmas decorating along with other merchandise like stickers, tree ornaments, flags, hats and t-shirts. According to the website, there has been over 15,000 sold. In a statement, the founder Seth Weathers said, what started as a fun idea for current customers turned into a nationwide frenzy since launch. So have you guys got any new, uh, any Christmas presents so far? With Let's, go, Let's go Brandon paper with it. I'm going to go find some. <laughs> so, I didn't know that was out there. That's beautiful. I haven't seen that at Walmart or anything. S so no wrapping paper, but you know, we sell Let's Go Brandon shirts on the Free Speech Forum shop. That's right. And I think some of our some of our forum members have actually bought them as, as uh, gifts for family members. For some of their it's been big, a hot seller. Some of their big Brandon friend, family, yeah. Brandon, Brandon fans, family I didn't, members. But that, that wrapping paper, what a stroke of brilliance yeah. that was. I bet <laughs> I, the guy just popped up in bed one night and said, oh, my God, I've got an idea, honey. Because yeah. it's in a, Georgia, a privately owned Georgia printing company. I bet they made bank, and then I bet they worked their asses off. Wow. <laughs> it's like, gonna oh, be, we got 10,000 more orders than we expected. Yeah. And There's going to be Let's Go Brandon car wraps before you know it. Oh, oh, we know a guy who could make them. The car wrap, yeah. yeah. Yes, we Is that do. Sign of Sam? Sign of Sam if you ever need a graphic Bumper designer. Stickers. But don't call him because we need him. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. He's busy working for us. So. Right. Yep. You got to go through us to get to Sam. Well, hey. like and subscribe. Uh, come chat with us on the freespeechforum.com. Uh Come check out our balls, you know, and uh, <laughs> they might have Lesko Brandon on them. Yeah, yeah. you never well, know. You might you, get lucky you, and see them. You can always count on us for the finest in news, sports, weather, and ridiculous stories. Yeah, great Most, discussion, too. Mostly the last <laughs> one. Yep. See you next time. Take care, everybody.